Alright, what up guys? It's TriStar Pictures 82 back again. And um, right now it's about 12 a.m. So currently we're about like 24 hours away from 2012. You know, now um, I, I just got back from seeing New Year's Eve, you know, in theaters tonight. And um, I gotta say, you know, it, it was a pretty good film to um, close up 2011, you know, I mean... You know, it was just an awesome movie to to watch for the end of the year, and um, I, I I highly recommend you guys go see it. You know, I mean, e even though you know, I, um, it's kind of like almost New Year's New Year's Eve as of now. You know, it, it's it's still a good film to like watch for the the um, the beginning of New New Year's Day for 2012 or or. Or in other words, your your first movie for 2012. You know, I mean, for me, it's my my last film of 2011. But but still, it's a pretty good film for the for um watching your first theatrical movie for 2012. You know, I mean, you know, it's great. You know, Times Square. You know, a bunch of shit going on. You know, it's just it's just a all around awesome movie. You know, I mean. You know, there are, there are a lot of girls in the theater, you know, I got, you know, I got to meet a couple of them, so, yep, good times, good times. But, um, for this video, I'm basically gonna show off my entire Blu-ray collection as of 2011. Yeah, and I, I know in my previous video, I've done all my VHS collections of 2011, but I thought I'd show off all the Blu-rays that I have as of now. And now... Starting off, I'm going to show off this. This is an HD DVD of Balls and of Fury. Now, this is one of the HD DVDs that are the combo format to where one side is HD DVD and the other side is standard DVD. But fortunately, I can only play the standard DVD side because I don't have an HD DVD player because, you know, Blu-ray kicked HD DVD's ass. So it had to leave the market in 2008. But... You know, I, I I thought it'd be cool to own at least one HD DVD, so I went ahead and picked this up. You know, I, I got this for only four bucks, but um, yeah, you know, I, at least I could still play the DVD side of the disc and watch the movie. So yeah, not really that big of the of a deal. But anyways, starting next, I'm gonna show off all my Blu-rays. You know, I'm just gonna show show them off one by one. I'm not gonna go into any detail with them maybe a few but but I, that was that's gonna take up most of the video but anyways let's, let's start it off here i got x-men the last stand the monster squad basic instinct i got this on black friday um Conan the Barbarian, the original 1982 version with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, I, I still need to get the the remake, though. You know, I, I haven't seen the remake yet, but I, I should watch it sometime. But, yeah. Anyways, here's Inglorious Bastards. Another one I got for on Black Friday. And next up is the entire Fast and Furious quadrilogy. The Fast and the Furious, the first movie. Too Fast, Too Furious, Furious, the second movie. The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, the third movie. Fast and Furious, the fourth movie. And lastly, Fast Five, the fifth movie. Alright. Next up is... Well... Sorry. Next up is Hot Tub Time Machine. Hilarious movie. You know, if you haven't seen this this film, I, I highly recommend you check this out. You'll laugh your ass off. It's funny as hell. All right. Next up is my James Bond Blu-rays. I got Doctor No. From Russia with Love. Goldfinger. Thunderball, 
Live and Let Die, The Man with the Golden Gun, Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, License to Kill, The World is Not Enough, Die Another Day, Casino Royale, and Quantum of Solace, you know. Now, I, I look forward to the um, upcoming Bond film, Skyfall, which is going to come out in November of 2012, and um, hopefully they will release the rest of the Bond films that haven't been released on Blu-ray at, at that time, so when the rest of the Bond films get released on Blu-ray, I'll pick definitely get those, but um, yeah, okay. Let's continue. I got Friday the 13th part part 3. South Park bigger, longer and uncut. Drawn together the movie. Gone with the wind. The dark night. Inception, another one I got on Black Friday, and another Black Friday find, Watchmen, Sucker Punch, the extended cut. Now, I, I know Karate Popcorn, you're you're looking for a, a slip cover for your copy of the Sucker Punch extended cut on Blu-ray, but um, I, I wish you luck finding it, you know. Okay, next pile right here, got The Hangover Part 2, Menace to Society, Set It Off, The Lord of the Rings Return of the King, The Final Destination, aka Final Destination 4. You know, I, I'm I'm a big fan of the Final Destination series, but this one's probably the worst in the series. And next up, this one I just picked up today at Walmart, and that is Final Destination 5. You know, I I went to see this the day it came out in theaters and Man, it, it was an improvement over the fourth Final Destination, you know. I mean, you know, the the storyline was interesting, you know, the the um, bridge collapse sequence was pretty thrilling, you know, the, the deaths in this movie were were pretty gruesome as hell, you know, like um like probably the most gruesome death I'd say in this movie is probably that gymnast death in the gym, you know, that her death looked pretty gruesome and painful, but yeah, now, now the the ending to this came as a surprise. You know, I did not see that coming. But um, yeah, you know, I mean, they definitely improved themselves with Final Destination Five. So um, yeah, can't wait to put this in my Blu-ray player and watch it. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up is Giorgio Moroder presents Metropolis. You know, I I did a Blu-ray review on this, but um, yeah, if you want to see it, check it out. Alright, next up is Shrek Forever After, Shrek 4, you know, got also got this on Black Friday. Alright, next up is Mega Mind. Alright, let's get right here. Now now these are the the uh, Sony Pictures Blu-rays. Alright, I got Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Planet 51, Bad Boys, Michael Jackson's This Is It, another Blu-ray, an another Black Friday pickup I got, also another Black Friday one, The Karate Kid, the 2010 remake, alright, next up I got Grown Ups, 
the Green Hornet. Heavy Metal, awesome animated movie. Right. Short Circuit 2. Boys in the Hood. The Quick and the Dead. Jumanji. Are We Done Yet? The sequel to Are We There Yet? Alright. Next pile. I got here is... District 9. Faster. Resident Evil Afterlife in 3D. Alright, next are my Disney Blu-rays. Starting off with... Um, Disney Parks on Blu-ray. Now, the the one thing disappointing about this Blu-ray is that it only has has three of the six different parts to it. You know, like it, it's got information about Disneyland and Disney World, but it's missing the like the uh, Disney Cruise part and the Animal Kingdom and stuff. But yeah, but but still, you know, what can you do? Now, um, th this Blu-ray is actually released by a Quest Star instead of um. Disney, which um, they've also have done um, um, Blu-ray documentaries of, um, I guess, like, um, um, well, I don't know, maybe forces or foreign worlds or something like that, but, um, yeah. Alright, next up I got is The Nightmare Before Christmas, my favorite Tim Burton animated movie. Next up is Alice in Wonderland, the 2010 live action version. Right. The Princess and the Frog, great Disney princess movie. Toy Story 3, the highest grossing animated film ever and a, an excellent third sequel to Toy Story 1 and 2, you know, I, I, I have been waiting for this movie for such a long time before it finally came out in 2010, but, uh, yeah, if, if you haven't seen this, you should definitely see it, you know, it's, you know, it's about Andy going to college and, you know, the toys accidentally get shipped to this daycare and all that stuff and Woody and the gang try to escape and all that. Now, um, they, they are now doing Toy Story tunes, which they play at at the beginning of um um recent disney movies such as cars 2 and um the muppets which i just recently seen you know they showed a toy story tune short but um yeah all right next up is tangle 3d another good d recent disney princess film now um, i i heard about the uh the new tangled short tangle forever after which is gonna premiere at the beginning of the um, theatrical release for Beauty and the Beast in 3D coming out next month. Now, um, I, I actually have um, one, one of my friends, she actually um, plays Rapunzel at Disneyland. And um, if you check in my Disneyland videos, um, my uh, second and third um, video of me meeting Ra Rapunzel, you know, not, not my first one, but the second and the third one of me of me videotaping meaning Rapunzel that that that's her you know but um yeah by um the, the end of January I'll, I will be going back to Disneyland so um ho hopefully she'll be there or not but yeah okay next up is Tron Legacy a, a great sequel to the original Tron from 1982 now um what's interesting is that um one one of my cousin's best best friend's brother is is in this movie so that that's pretty awesome all right next up is the pirates of the caribbean on stranger tides you know it it was a it was an all right pirates of the caribbean film you know and lastly i got here is the uh extended blu-ray collector's edition of the the best movie ever made James Cameron's Avatar, you know, I mean, 
th this Blu-ray has um it comes in three different discs and it has like every detail about Avatar, you know. I mean, including the feature film, but it also has an alternate opening and alternate scenes in it and uh, all that good stuff, you know. And and I I look forward to James Cameron's re-release of Titanic in 3D coming out in in April 2012, which is the 100th anniversary of the Titanic disaster and, and the 100th anniversary of Paramount Pictures, the distributor for that movie. So um yeah. All right, that's should pretty much do for my Blu-ray collection as of 2011 and um you know, I I'll still be getting some more and more Blu-rays, you know, next year and whatnot, but um yeah. Now I I hope you guys have a good New Year's Eve and be and be safe and all that and you know and and, and please please leave a comment and subscribe and um I'll make more videos. So yeah. And as of now, this is TriStar Pictures 82 signing off. See you guys.